Welcome to Voodoo Whiskey Gaming and this is my late review of Assassin's Creed Origin. I played it on the PS4, it's also available on the Xbox One. So the first big difference in this game is obviously the setting. It takes place in Egypt, a place that none of the games have ever taken place in before, and it takes place in an earlier time period than any have taken place before. This one takes place around the time when Ptolemy and Cleopatra were essentially warring for power in Egypt. And that matters a lot for you as Bayek, who is a Magi, the last of the real Magi. A Magi is essentially a Mr. Fix-It for the people of Egypt. They were also at one point in time the guard of the Pharaoh. But Ptolemy wasn't a fan of them because, well, he's being secretly manipulated by a group known as the Order of the Ancients. And Bayek goes on his quest essentially because a small group of them murdered his child. He doesn't realize how big it actually is. So he goes on a quest for revenge. After killing the five men he found to be involved, he learns that it is much bigger than this and it will affect the course of history for Egypt. Which, that's not really a new notion in the Assassin's Creed games. A lot of them have used this where it starts out with something small and more personal and grows into something much larger. I was about to say this is a well-told story, but I will say at the very beginning it's a little weak because like three of the people on the list have already been assassinated. So you're like, oh, I, I don't get to do anything with that. And you kill the last two before you discover it's a much bigger plot. That having been said, it's not a bad story and it's not truly poorly told. It was just a weird way of starting out the game, in my opinion. Onto the audio. The audio in this game is excellent. I do wish there was a bit more music, because when you're just riding through the desert and there's no music, it gets a little dull. That having been said, when there is music playing, it is very good music and it adds to the emotion of what you're doing at the time. The sound effects for when you're fighting, when you're riding your horse, just ambient noises in general, they're all very well done. Hearing the sand blowing in the desert, things like that help immerse you in that world, make you really feel like you're riding through the desert. Overall, the audio in this game is very well done. It is excellent. It adds a lot to this game. It's definitely an enhancer. So obviously next up would be the gameplay and this game really changes aspects of the game it feels very different in a lot of ways not necessarily in a bad way but it changes things up in a lot of ways there's the addition of really a ton of side quests not like side missions not small things they're actual quests with actual stories behind them not oh i'm just trying to take over this territory by beating up x number of gang members blah 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 no you're not trying to take over territories you go into new areas and and you essentially find real quests that have actual stories attached to them. Some of them can actually be very compelling stories. There's also obviously your main quest, and I will say this about the world itself. It's a big map. It's a very big map with a lot to do. I was actually really surprised at how large this world was. I was honestly impressed by the mapping of the cities and whatnot because I was like, oh, it's going to be a bunch of one-story buildings. How is this really going to work in Assassin's Creed? But the reality of it is they made it work. They made certain cities large enough that you can really do some vertical stuff. It is overall less vertical than previous Assassin's Creed games though. But to make up for it, there are a ton of RPG elements like really leveling your character if you want to be more ranged, if you want to be more up close. Not really, I say that, but the reality of it is, you can fill out the entirety of your character's skill trees. There's also mounted combat, and that is very useful and actually very important to a lot of the missions. And it's not just like ramming a cart into other people, it's literally swinging your sword at enemies. There's also a proper lock-on feature to focus on a specific enemy, but that can leave you open to other enemies attacking you. It also doesn't limit you from attacking the other enemies. Also, the all-powerful counter system is gone, or at least it was not taught to me in any tutorial whatsoever, and I haven't seen it in any of the options. I think that was smart of them. In a way, if they're going to be changing up a lot of the other elements and the overall feel of the game, I think it's important to get away from the all-powerful counter. I feel like they wanted to change up what Assassin's Creed was by altering things, and they may seem like small things when I describe them, but when you're sitting there playing it, it feels like a much larger change. As I mentioned, your mount, that is actually actually very important for getting around such a large map because, well, like I just said, it's a very large map and it 
takes a long time. Like, we're talking three to four kilometers between certain objectives. Fortunately, there's also an autopilot mode for your horse or camel, whichever you choose. I kind of liked the camel. I don't know if there's a huge difference between the mounts, really. It didn't feel like there was. That having been said, the autopilot system, while it's very useful, is very, very stupid. It chooses some of the weirdest routes at times, and it murders people. I wish I was joking about that, but I did get the warning message from the Assassin's Creed games where it's like, oh, your character did not kill civilians. And it's not like I was trying to. My horse was just stupid and ran them over, and they didn't get out of the way. Another huge change is this game is very loot-based. It's a very big thing. I mean, there's microtransactions attached to it. I didn't feel like they were too bad, but I do feel like more so than some other games with microtransactions, the microtransactions in this game sucked because they want you to buy money for the in-game. I found a lot of items and sold as much as I could, but I often found that I was lacking financially in certain things that I wanted to do. And I feel like they intentionally did that so that I would have to buy money from them with my actual real money. I mean, like you loot a guard and you get like two coins. Running around a tomb and like all these small lootable things are giving you one to two coins. The money being carted through that you can like raid the guys carrying it, 250. It's not a ton of money. So uh, that was pretty obnoxious to me, but it's also far from the worst I've experienced in any game. Now, now, it's not just like loot boxes and currency exchange. I mean loot in general, as in gear that you find to change your weapons, your bow and arrow, your shield, things like that. But you find a bunch of different types of bows, a bunch of different types of melee weapons, spears, axes, swords, a variety of swords. So there's a ton of loot and I like that. You can almost always find a better weapon. It may not necessarily be the best weapon. The thing I'm generally lacking in funds on is upgrading my really good loot legendary weapons. That having been said, I really enjoy a lot of the changes that they've made. I wasn't sure at first when I started playing, like my first hour of it, I was like, this is intriguing. And it doesn't quite feel like Assassin's Creed, but it does feel like Assassin's Creed and I'm enjoying it. As for the controls, the controls, I will say for the most part, are very good. There have been a few times where I feel like the dodge function didn't work the way I wanted it to, and I got murdered for it. But overall, I do feel like the controls worked very well. In those dodge situations, I was 100% pushing the dodge button and somehow didn't dodge or still got hit anyways. That having been said, the rest of the controls work very well. The shooting works well when you're using the bow and arrow, when you're doing melee, that works well. They have very much simplified the controls for climbing and the parkour. It's a much more normalized control scheme, I would say. You don't have to hold down a button in order to sprint. It was much more simplified. And I think it worked pretty well. I didn't run into too many perching issues, which anyone who's played an Assassin's Creed game knows exactly what that is. It's where you get stuck perched on a stupid object that you're not trying to be perched on. Overall, I think it worked well. It is a little more simplistic than I was expecting. Lastly, the graphics. This is a good looking game. It's actually a really good looking game. I'm not gonna say it's the best looking game I've seen this year, but it is better than some of the other games I've played more recently. I love all the Egyptian architecture. I love the pyramids. I love the sand dunes. I like what they've done with this game. I think it's a really cool setting. It's not one that I would have initially picked, but having now played it, I'm glad they did, and I'm glad they've brought the same amount of detail to this world that they've put into other games. At the end of the day, if you're looking for a great adventure game, I fully recommend this. I think it's an excellent game. I am legitimately surprised at how much I enjoyed it. Honestly, I enjoyed the previous Assassin's Assassin's Creed games. I think this is a great addition. I think a lot of these new things that they've used in the gameplay elements are a good way to move forward into the future and keep the game alive essentially and prevent it from being completely stale. And it was definitely getting to the point where you could jump into an Assassin's Creed game and you knew exactly what you were doing. So to put it simply, fully recommend. Okay, so in the comments below, why don't you tell me if you've seen the Assassin's Creed movie? Because I haven't and I don't really want to. And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you like what I'm doing in general, share, subscribe. Have a good one. But that doesn't really... Mm.